Hi students, how are you on a swine and say? It gives me even pleasure to welcome you all to my new video. And today's video is about another interesting topic in unit 2. We are going to see different addressing modes. Okay. And previous video we have seen what is about instruction sequencing and how the instructions are getting executed and all those things. And today we are going to see different addressing modes. Right. How each and every operand is addressed in any particular instruction. Right. What are the different ways that we can, we can give an instruction. Right. That is what we are going to see. In today's video okay so before starting with addressing modes right in general you want to understand like every instruction is stored in the computer right memory the memory will have the list of instructions right the list of instructions is nothing but programs and in this program you will have variables constants everything right and that should be a proper way to organize this particular memory correct Right. Say for example, if I'm a professor, if I need to access a list of data, right? And students name only in there. Students today name only in there. Name will not go out. You know what I will do is I can use a list, right? I can just use the list that is enough. A list which is having the names of the students that is enough. But if I need students name, their marks in various subjects, their phone number, their address, all those information. Then I will not be needing list. What I will need is I will need a table. A table where you will have a lot of columns, right? Columns and rows, right? So for this particular name, what is the test mark 1, test mark 2, test mark 3, like that. Right. Similarly, any programmer, right? Who is writing programs, they will need list, right? Link list, arrays, all those things to organize. In memory, right, right, to save their data in a different way. Okay, so what is addressing mode is all about the different ways in which location of the operand is specified. Okay, how we can represent an operand in the instruction, right? What are the different ways is that that is called as addressing modes. Okay, so why is that we are going to use addressing mode because you only understand the rules of addressing mode, right. The programmer can understand how we can able to give the instruction, how the pro how the computer will understand or how the computer will uh, fetch the data or how it will execute the instruction. Everything is dependent upon this addressing mode. Okay, and also it is used to reduce the number of bits in the addressing field. Okay, it will provide the main advantage is it provides versatility to the user and it reduces the number of bits in the addressing field. Okay. And what are the different types of addressing mode? In this video, we'll see all those different types of addressing modes. Okay. You see immediate addressing, you see direct addressing and absolute addressing, indirect addressing, register addressing, index addressing, index addressing of two types. One is index addressing with base index, right? And then with the base with index and offset. Okay. And then there is something called relative addressing and auto increment and auto decrement. Right, you will be familiar with these two addressing modes. Okay, so we will start with very basic addressing mode. Right, so as I said before, any particular program, right, any program will have list of variables and constants. Right, you will have surely you will have variables and constants. Okay, this uh, this variables and constants are simple data types that is used in programs. Correct. Right. So in order to give this, in order to Represent these variables and constants. Right? These addressing modes is very useful. Okay, and very simple addressing modes is register mode and absolute mode. Okay, right. And we can see if we take this as an instruction, we take this as an instruction. Right. This is operation. Right. And this is operand. This is the operand. Right. It can be a memory location or it can be a register. Whatever may be, that is called as operand. Right. Now, sir, what is register mode? Register mode is not Right. If the operand, right, if the operand is given in the name of register, right, and the register name is given in the instruction itself, right, that is called as register mode, right. And what is absolute mode, right? In, instead of register, if the operand is represented as location, L or location A or simply location, right, or accumulator, right, all these things, if it represents a memory location, that is called as absolute mode, 
right you know what is register mode and what is absolute mode right direct and instruction le register or memory location of kudutirundha that is called as register mode and absolute mode a very good example is this one this example suits for both absolute mode and register mode you can see in this instruction move r to r2 is the general purpose register right that the register is directly given here so it is register mode and the location is directly given here so that is absolute mode right absolute mode can also be called as direct mode it can be also called as direct mode right and you already know processor will have the processor registers correct the general purpose register and the whole idea of using general purpose register is for temporary storage and it will speed up the execution okay and absolute mode can be represented for can be used to represent global variables okay appo register mode na enna absolute mode na enna very simple direct a register name kodukirathu operanda seriya direct a memory location kodukirathu absolute mode right and you we'll see you can see here this is the op code right op code is nothing but the operation what it has to do that is add move adella enna solluvom op code nu solluvom enna data enna address enna edathula namu panna porom adu enna operand okay so if it is move r2 then this is op code and this is operand okay you can see here this r right i am speaking about the direct register register mode right direct mode da seri la absolute mode da seri da right the operand enna panna appadina direct ah adudaiya ad operand enga irukum right ah for example r2 is nothing but r2 is nothing but the register the content in that particular register is the operand okay so if it is r2 then it will go to the r2 here so for the r2 la irukiradha enna ad operand right so for the instruction le direct ah operand oda location ah end register end address nu kudukiradha register more or direct mode purida right ah right and immediate addressing so immediate addressing is very simple right instead of appo munadi enna pannu appadina or register location kudukringa illa or ஒரு மெமரி லொகேஷன் கொடுக்குறீங்க அது அந்த மெமரி லொகேஷன்ல போணும் இல்ல அல்ல அந்த ரெஜிஸ்டர்ல போணும் அங்க போய் தான் வந்து அந்த ஆபரேட்டர் பாக்கும் கரெக்ட்டா ரைட் பட் ஹியர் வாட் யூ வில் டு இஸ் वी कैन गिव द இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் डायरेक्टली ரைட் தட் இஸ் ऐड 5 இஃப் திஸ் இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் யூ கேன் see here add 5 add 5 means what it will do is it will add i have already said add instruction it is a single address instruction single address instruction i know register enna va irukum accumulator ah irukum appdi solliranga கரெக்ட்டா right so this is just add 5 is nothing but it will add the content of 5 to the accumulator right directly you are mentioning 5 value right 5 ah accumulator kuda add panna appdi solrad right there is no memory reference to fetch the data here right and you can see this is also very good example right move r uh, 2200 immediate to r not that is r not register la direct ah 200 ah move panna right that is the instruction given here right right and so this instruction is you know, only in the formula right every represent pannalam appadina by using this particular sign that is it is a sharp sign appo solla even though we call it as a stretch it can be called as sharp sign right so immediate addressing this is the immediate address okay so to, to represent immediate addressing we use sharp sign okay and a very good example here i will try to give you an example here consider this instruction a is equal to b plus 6 right is get this are immediate addressing use for me instruction is the program is there right you can see here what i have to do i have to add the content of b with 6 right b la enna content irukko adu kuda 6 add pananum right and then i have to store the result then a right idu epdi edirum paare right i can write the like this way move b to r1 right r1 ku move pandra first b oda information right and then what i have to do b plus 6 right so what i have to do add i am using immediate addressing i am using immediate addressing right i am using immediate addressing and then now you can understand r1 b la the information r1 ku store pannidha already if r1 la irukra information enna adu b right And next step enna pannu b a 6 b kuda 6 add pannu correct ah so ipo r1 la da b irukke right b oda information irukke so i am going to add 6 to that r1 right in the operation mudichu in the operation mudichu kapra enna pannu and information a la store pannu right what i can do i can once again move r1 to 
அதுக்கப்புறம் ஆர்நாட் கூட ஆட் பண்ணுவோம் போனதுக்கு <laughs> So after finding the operand, it adds with R0 as per the instruction. Right. So this is called as indirect addressing. Right. So in this indirect addressing, right. So in this indirect addressing, right. We can able to do the same steps, right. Uh, previous, in the other bathroom, we can do the list of instructions, right. A list of numbers. Number 1 to 10. Number 1 to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. We can see a lot of instructions, right. We can see a lot of instructions, correct. very instructions in the last video lo paathom right ah and the instruction sequencing la paathirupinga right ah we will use branching condition right ah branching condition use panni ore or add instruction use panirukom correct ah right number of add instructions pala ore or add instruction use pannom right ah so in that particular type in that type of programs we can use indirect addressing indirect addressing use pannala right ah same steps da right ah indirect addressing eppadi use pandra appdi paarenga right already we know that right the instruction is stored like this i i plus 4 i plus 8 it is a 32 bit like this correct first instruction i la irukum second instruction i plus 4 la irukum third instruction i plus 8 la irukum correct ah so if you list of instruction execute pannala once again same thing right for example n value vandu 10 ah irundhuchu appadina initially what it will do it will store that 10 here in r1 appo initially r1 will be 10 right and you have 1 to 10 id ella values ay add pannano correct ah right so now the first number first number you can see that is immediate addressing immediate addressing use panirukom immediate address ena use panirukom number 1 which means number 1 direct ah na pandra r2 kuda add pandra right appo 1 2 3 4 10 appadina number 1 na direct ah ena pandra appadina it is sold to move to r2 ipo r2 la ena irukku 1 nu irukku seriya now what you have to do we have to clear r not right next step ena pandra R2 R0 ஆட் பண்ணனும் ரைட்டா once again R2 ன்றது என்ன அப்படினு பாத்தீங்கன்னா இங்க இட் இஸ் யூஸ்ட் as an effective address indirect addressing கொடுத்திருக்காங்க ரைட்டா அப்போ indirect addressing ல you have to find out what is R2 ரைட் ரைட் சோ நவ you can understand R2 ன்றது என்னது நமக்கு ஏப்பே தெரியும் இங்க ரைட் தட் இஸ் நம்பர் 1 தட் இஸ் ஆடட் டு R0 கரெக்ட் ரைட் and now ரைட் R0 இது ஆட் பண்ணி முடிச்சாச்சு ரைட்டா இப்போ அடுத்த லொகேஷனுக்கு போணும் ரைட்டா அடுத்த லொகேஷனுக்கு போணும் அப்படினா R2 ல ஏற்கனவே என்ன இருக்கு ஒன் இருக்கும் சரியா ஃபர்ஸ்ட் நம்பர் இருக்கும் அப்ப அது அடுத்த நம்பருக்கு வரணும் அப்படினு பாத்தீனா அடுத்த அட்ரஸ் லொகேஷன் எங்க இருக்கும் i 4 ல இருக்கும் ரைட் சோ இட்ஸ் ஆட் ஸ்டார் 4 டு r2 தட் மீன்ஸ் இட் will go to the next instruction அடுத்த இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷனுக்கு போயிரும் தட் இஸ் செகண்ட் நம்பருக்கு போயிடுது ரைட்டா and similarly we are decrementing r1 r1 என்ன இனிஷியலா 10 னு இருக்கு இப்போ என்ன இருக்கும் r1 will become 9 the same steps okay va இப்ப r1 9 இப்ப இந்த கண்டிஷன் ஃபான்சிங் போறது ரைட்டா if r1 is greater than 0 right what it will do it will once again go to this particular loop in the loop ku podu in the loop ku enna aagum if r0 ekkana r0 la enna irukum 1 mattum vandirukum seriya ipo r2 oda value enna de 2 right 1 2 add panadhu right once again next instruction like that it will loop right in the instruction loop aite irukum until or unless in the 10 numbers ay add pandra varaikum right and you can see here once this becomes zero r1 will become zero this condition will not be satisfied and then it will automatically store the value of r0 to some that is it will move the value of r0 to some adhe instruction adhe program da but what i have done is i have used immediate addressing and indirect addressing here you understand right so this is about indirect addressing mode okay and thank you students thank you for watching kandipa indha video ungalku ellarku romba useful ah irukum nambra subscribe passionate professor and keep learning thank you very much